Hey guys, today I have a super short video for you. I want to show you how I transport or depot rollerball perfume into an atomizer. It's super easy, but a couple of you guys asked me about it and I wanted to share with you. Um, I had talked about it a little bit in my Project Pan update, my uh, 7 by Spring update. I'll put that video down below if you're interested in checking that out. So I wanted to share with you how I do it and so I'll bring you over to my desk and we can kind of do like a step by step. So let's get started. Let's take a look at how to transport this rollerball perfume. So I'm going to be transporting some of my Hannah More perfume into an atomizer and what you'll need is a rollerball perfume, an atomizer, and this one is from TJ Maxx. I got it for around three dollars. It's refillable. I love the refillable ones, not the ones that you take the perfume top off like a full-size perfume and just squirt it in the bottom. For this you'll need a refillable one. So, and this is the little top here for it. I also like to have some scissors handy and also you can have a cloth or a paper towel so that you can remove the top rollerball and pop it out. And this last thing is a little funnel. I think this is important when transporting the rollerball perfume because it allows all the perfume to get inside and it doesn't spill everywhere. And I got this at Sephora. They use these, the Sephora reps use these to make samples and I just asked for a couple of them. And what you do is you pop off the top. So I like to use a cloth or you can even just use your shirt. Sometimes you'll have to loosen it up. Be really careful with the scissors. Um, with the scissors just to kind of get under that little edge there. And then you just pop it off and I just wiggle it back and forth. So there's the top right there. And this is open so I have to be careful. Also, word to the wise, um, be careful if you use the inside of your shirt to, o to open up the top. Um, perfume can sometimes damage clothing. Also, I just noticed right here, I damaged my desk a little bit. So be careful, I'd recommend putting down like a paper towel or something. I'm gonna put the little funnel in here and I'm slowly gonna pour the rollerball perfume in. Oop. And then if it gets kind of caught in the little funnel, you just tap it down. Okay, and you just keep pouring until it's about three-fourths of the way full. Take this out. I like to have like a little cloth or something to put this on. Uh, the little funnel on and then you just screw it in. You don't want to you don't want to fill the little atomizer all the way because when you screw it in uh, you'll have problems putting the top on and it'll spill out and there you have it and you can spray it. It's a lot easier for me to use up. I've noticed um, I use spray perfumes a lot more than rollerballs. I think what's even easier than transporting a rollerball perfume are these little samples that don't have spray uh, nozzle on them or spray top to them. So I just wiggle back and forth and pop it off and this is super easy. This time I did put down a paper towel because I feel like it's just in case it spills on the desk but it's so easy. You put the little funnel in and also just a little tip when you go to Sephora to ask for these what you can do is ask them for a sample and then when they're gonna throw this away just be like oh can I keep that? That way it's not like hey can I ha just have that for free? <laughs> so holding this I just take the perfume and I just go like this and it prevents it from getting all over the place, the funnel does. Just tap, 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 tap. This is now empty. And you have your little sample perfume in this atomizer. See, there isn't too much of it. But you just take the top, screw it on, and there you go. Also, what I like to do with these little funnels, I rinse them out with warm soapy water and then I can reuse them. I just let them dry, air dry. And same thing with the atomizers. I rinse them out with warm soapy water and then when I fill it up with warm soapy water that's really diluted, don't use anything that has like little beads like the Bath and Body Works. Just use like Dr. Bronner's uh, liquid soap or any kind of liquid soap that's really diluted and you can spray it through the spray nozzle to really clean the little tubing that's in there. But I reuse these. I've reused these uh, several times and it doesn't seem to have too much of a transfer with the different scents that I've used. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this super simple step Step by step, I guess it's kind of a tutorial or walkthrough on how I um, transport the rollerball perfume. If you liked this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Transport pure perfume. <coughs> Oop.